Hey everybody, welcome back to some Stellaris news save file with the Federation's DLC. We've actually got every DLC because Paradox are awesome and <laughs> they send me all the DLC. We are just finishing up, uh, we we have just finished up an old save file from the previous expansion uh, where it became so easy by the end of it in a hyper militaristic game where we, in the last session, we declared war in every country in unison just to see if we could. And we were winning wars I wasn't paying attention to. I automated every planet that I owned just to see if they would fall apart. Well, we had slave riots all over. And uh, in the end, I ended up winning every war but one of them, which I think was still ongoing at the end, but their fleet was considered pathetic compared to ours. And that was me spending about half the time just reading the chat rather than playing the game. So we decided that, that maybe, maybe when I'm dominating the game that hard and we're still in early game, I should up the difficulty. So Federations just came out and I have created a new country for us. This is a company. We haven't played a company yet on the stream and I'm very excited because I played a little bit off stream with companies and they're very fun. So we, we were previously the United Chat Imperium. We are, uh, an, it's an empire, it's a police state. We have slavery kills, authoritarian, uh, fanatic xenophobes. Like, it is the most, like, evil fascist uh, country you could think of, right? We're going to instead now have Madrybrid Energy and Minerals, the, our nice corporation. Yes, the flag looks like North Korea. I didn't think about that until you pointed it out just now. It looks a little bit North Korea, but I swear we're not evil. Um, so we're a corporation, so we are, we're actually not a government for once, we're a corporation. Uh, we elect a new ruler every 20 years, so basically a new CEO. Administrative, um, capacity is up a little bit, but Empire Sprawl, Sprawl penalty is way up. So we want to not go over our Empire Sprawl limit, which is why we have a little bit more headroom on this. We're gonna have to be careful about that, and you guys know I'm bad about that. So you, you guys have gotta reel me in on that, because I know we got a few experts in the chat here, and this is the Paradox game where I probably know the least about. Uh, actually, no, Victoria 2 I know the least about, but Victoria 2 I also play a lot of because it's really fun. Anyway, uh, our, our traits we took from the beginning is franchising, subject power relation penalty, negative 33%, and empire sprawl from branch offices down 25%. So this is all about making it easier to set up uh, franchises on lots of other countries' planets without going into serious empire sprawl territory. So this will let us really expand into other countries' markets. I want to control the world economy, basically. Public relations specialist I also have, so that's plus two envoys, which is the new diplomatic mechanic, as well as democratic, or sorry, diplomatic weight is up. So we specialize in diplomacy. What I want to do is create a World Trade Federation and be so ingrained in everyone's economy that no one dares declare war on me. It would be suicide to declare war on my corporation, you know, and try to have a hostile takeover. We're fanatic xenophiles, which is the biggest uh, governing ethic for diplomacy. We get extra envoys, which envoys are so, so important to the new diplomatic system. And our trade value is up 20%, which is massive as a corporation. Any trade value we can get as a corporation will really, really strengthen our economy. We're space dwarves, by the way, as I'm sure you've noticed, which is pretty great. We are a chat race. The, the race is called chat, and we are basically space dwarves who are just merchants. We're space merchant dwarves. We're also materialist as a governing ethic. Not fanatically, but materialist. Which means that um, we cannot outlaw AI. We we quite like robotics. We we are we're materialists, so we quite like the uh, advancement of science and technology and robotics and whatnot. Research speed is up a little bit, which is going to be very nice because we're going to try and staple our empire sprawl limit. So we should be quite good researchers. And robot upkeep is down. So if we're ever having labor shortages, we might be able to just build robots to help automate some of those jobs. And the robots upkeep of energy credits shouldn't be so bad. But considering we're going to have all this trade value and everything, that'll probably pay for the upkeep anyway. So our racial traits here, we're thrifty, so more trade value from jobs by 25%. That mixed with fanatic xenophile, we're going to have some serious trade value. Uh, so we're going to want to really um, have as much of that as we can, you know? We're non-adaptive as a negative trait, so habitability is down for our native race, which means if we're going to be taking a couple planets that have low habitability, it might make sense to mostly staff it with robots because the robots, they don't really care about if the world has like food and stuff. As long as we have the power to keep them running, 
Uh, so it doesn't matter too much that our actual dwarf race pretty much just like their home world. They, they don't live in a whole lot of climates. And we are charismatic, so we generate extra amenities from jobs. That'll also be really nice because a lot of our franchise stores are going to be generating amenities. Our race will be better at that. We're entertainers. We're good with money. Basically, we are merchants. We are merchant dwarves who are also entertainers. We're just a fun-loving race of dwarves. I think that's going to be fun. For our origin, because this is new, we start on a shattered ring. So we start on a partially destroyed ring world. So this is a pl so our home planet starts off very weak. Our home planet of YouTube starts off very weak, but it's gonna get really strong as we repair it with time. So we might not have many planets because we're a we're a company, but in time our home planet is going to become one of the best planets in the world probably. There's a lot we can do with that. So I'm pretty excited. Our very first uh, president, or I, I think it might be CEO, I don't remember our exact title, we'll see soon, is of course MDB, myself. I will start the, the, uh, the, the company, and then you guys are going to run the company, because we'll be naming all future leaders off uh, after you guys. So that'll be fun. All right, we want to up the difficulty as well. Um... It's on this page. There's like a just general difficulty on this somewhere, right? Iron Man on, yes. So, our, uh, we are the, what, what is our title? I want to know our title. Chief Executive Officer. Okay, so we are the CEO. Got it. Next election's not for 20 years. Got it. Uh, reform government. No reason to do that right now because we don't have any extra civic slots yet. We'd just be switching things. Which I should probably do more often. You could probably really min-max with that if you want to. But uh, I think what we want to do, because we're so diplomatic focused, we're going to want to have multiple science ships early for sure. We want to scout the early area to figure out where our choke point is going to be early for safety. And two, so that we can... Um, and, and the second one is so that we can scout and find other people to befriend them early. The sooner we meet people, the sooner we can get their on we can get envoys with them to help make things be in better shape. You know what I mean? Hey, Black Mewtwo. Uh, so, I am gonna go ahead right away and make another science ship. We're gonna want two of them. Our first science ship here. What's your trait? Anomaly discovery chance 10%. That's really nice. I'm gonna survey outwards like this so that we get the choke point down there first. And we'll just see how that goes. Construction ship immediately needs to get work on the minerals. Oh, we have multiple... Okay, no, for a second I thought we had multiple planets on our homeworld. Like I say, I've never seen that happen. But no, we do not. That one, there we go. Set up our initial research. What have we got here? Uh, energy credits from technicians is very tempting early. But so is research. Do we start with a research? Uh, we do start with a research lab. So that'd be 20% on top of the eight base. Uh, so that would, that's not a whole lot to be honest. Um, whereas the energy credits from technicians, how many am I getting from technicians? That'd be from stations, I think. You know what? I'm going to take the research early because we're always going to be good researchers. I want to get that bonus early. And monthly unity, I want to get that going as early as possible, as well as the additional edicts, because that's a really good tech. For engineering, uh, I'm just going to go with research speed on that engineering early, because we do not need an upgraded fleet immediately. Now, if you look at our starting room world, the size is only five. It is a minuscule planet right now. We need to repair the ring world. Uh, so we have an eager governor. Okay. I actually want to rename our governor here. To first name I see in the chat. Free Dust. There we go. Free Dust is the governor of the YouTube sector. Beautiful. We have an empty slot here, and as soon as I have the minerals for oh, mineral cost is quite high actually. I think I want a corporate culture site to get, you know, to keep the um strong early game unity, because I want to get the diplomacy stuff very early. How do we repair repair the ring world? As far as I'm aware, it's mostly through uh I, I think it's through clearing blockers, I believe. If I go to planetary features, we can see there's decrepit tunnels all over. On clearing, we get a bunch of minerals and a bunch of, um, 
I forgot what that resource is called. Volatile Motes, I think it's called that. We also start with an Arcane Generator, which gets amenities and produces a little bit of energy and motes, which is nice. So we do get a rare resource right off the bat. But we need to save up money to fix this. So. And I'll be catching up with the chat very soon, by the way. Uh, don't don't worry, I'm not ignoring you guys. It's just, you know, the beginning rigmarole. Uh, yep, population is entirely 30. 30 population of chat. Yeah. Those are the governing ethics all mashed together in the, in the ugliest way they managed to. <laughs> Armies, no general. Yeah, okay. Research segment, commercial segment, city segment, and agricultural segment. Yeah, you can't mine because it's a ring world. So these are all a little bit different, but they produce a lot more housing than I'm used to. Wow, this thing can have a crazy population for its size, I gotta say. Okay, but we have tons of available housing. We have available jobs. We have amenities. We have no unemployment. We have no crime. I have no reason, really to work on any districts right now. So I'm just going to try and save up for a building slot there to get things going there. All right, we're unpausing. What time is it where you are? It is 5.10 PM in Oakville, Ontario, Canada. Oh man, today on the Pokemon, um, on the Pokemon challenge, uh, premiere for the Tangela one. Upscaling uh, complete. Someone in the chat, people were like talking about where they're from and everything. And someone said they're from Oakville and they said where they lived near. And I just had this moment where I was reading, I'm like, oh my God, like this blows my mind. I'm, you know, I'm really new to being kind of internet popular, I guess. Like I've been doing this for 10 years almost. And um, I just recently in the last six months started kind of getting big. Um, I'm, I'm going to wait before I make that research lab. Um, and so, oh, right. Other sign ship is ready. Let's get another leader on that. Recruit. Uh, none of these are good. Uh, just get the youngest one then. One of the people th who listed like where they're from, I, I, I just had a thought to myself of, oh my God, like I can see the building that they said they're, that they're near from my window. <laughs> so, like, I'm not going to say what building it is because then people know my neighborhood and I don't want to do that. That's needlessly risky. But it's just crazy to me the idea that I have multiple viewers now who live in my neighborhood that I know for sure live in my neighborhood. I'm probably going to get recognized in public at some point, And that blows my mind because it's just never happened in like 10 years. I barely leave the house Potential anyway. Uh, global pandemic aside. Actually, I think someone told me the other day that pandemic inherently means global. So I should be saying global pandemic. Let's go grab that planet. That's definitely going to be within our sprawl limit, you know? If you want to know I'm from New Zealand. Yeah, where's everyone from? I'm curious. Anyone, anyone here from Ontario, Canada? I mean, it's the most populated province, so probably, statistics-wise, there's a couple. Maine, Ottawa. I got some friends in Ottawa. Germany. I have a lot of German Upscaling viewers. Complete. A lot of uh, Dutch viewers as well. Okay. Um, Yeah, I want to colonize this. Uh, We just need... Yeah, it's mostly the... The... uh, Got a mining station there. It's mostly the alloys I need. There we go. Comet sighted. Unity gained. Bedford in the UK. The Dutch are swamp Germans. That's one of the most hilarious ways I've ever heard uh, the Netherlands described. That's hilarious. I don't know. I think culturally the Netherlands is pretty different from Germany. Upscaling complete. But what do I know? All right, I think we actually want to change some of our early laws. I want to change the policies early because food is awesome right now. So food policy, I'm thinking uh, we give them extra food. Oh, it also increases mineral upkeep now. Or that would probably only happen for people who eat rocks, though, like lithoids. Um, but this makes people happy and population growth speed is up. So I will gladly make sure that they can eat lots. Also... Diplomatic stance is mercantile. What is that? 
Diplomatic weight from economy, trade value, and production. Oh, yeah. Using closed border against non-rivals costs influence on that. Okay, so we really want open borders with everyone, which I wanted anyway. I'm pretty sure that Gabriel Morton was the guy who came up with the Swamp Germans line. That's amazing. I'm friends with Gabe. We haven't talked in a while, though, but we did a podcast together once. Um, expansionist, cooperative. This is cool. These are fairly new, I think. That's interesting. I will stay mercantile on that, though. Unrestricted war? I think I actually want more defensive war type stuff. That helps befriend people, typically. I'm going to go liberation wars for now. Rather than unrestricted. I'm going to go selective orbital bombardment because I want to look very peaceful here. This does uh, this appeases some countries who will meet. Resolvement allowed. Peaceful first combat. Initial border status open for sure because we have bonuses towards that. Civilian economy. We might go civilian economy at some point. To get more consumer goods, but we get less alloys. Because we won't need as many alloys in the long run. But for now, we're going to go mixed economy. Now, trade policy is important. This is what our trade value turns into. Right now, it's wealth creation, so trade value gives us credits. I could also make it get us uh, consumer goods, which I think we're going to want more of in the future. And this would be unity. If I do marketplace of ideas, we get unity and money. And to be honest, I'm kind of digging the idea of their early unity. Um... Where is the thing for checking the individual trade value again? I want to see the exact number trade value I get before I go making a change that big. Um, would he ever do the official podcast with Critical? I mean, if he wants me on, but I don't think he knows I exist. Um, I, I really do want the early unity. I got to say. It doesn't say... Oh, trade is 39. Ooh. I would lose that on a lot of money. You know what? I think I am going to go Marketplace of Ideas. I like that. Can't change it for 10 years, but that'll be fine. So we're going to we're gonna start getting more unity out of that. Robotic workers allowed. Population control prohibited. Slavery prohibited. Purge prohibited. Yes. So we're very peaceful. We, we, we have pretty strong uh, human rights, or I guess it'd be just species rights in general. Oh, great. We're blocked off on there. Cool. That's not fun. Well, we didn't die, so at least there's that. We're just trying to scout and find people right now. And let's get that corporate culture site, get that unity going early. Da, 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 da. So here's a tip. There are three tile blocks on your ring that give the special need uh, to the build of one of each three district in the arcane gen update that give you the special need for. Sorry, I didn't understand any of that. I don't know if I'm reading it wrong. Here's a tip. There are three tile blocks on your ring that give the special need to build one of each district. I don't know what that means. And the Arcane Gen, I'm guessing you mean the Arcane Generator that's on the planet. Update to give you the special need for it. Someone's gonna have to give me that one in English. Uh, okay. Uh, diplomacy is probably one I take, want to take right away because I do think I'm gonna meet someone fairly early. And right off the bat, like, as much as I'd love some of the early stuff in some of these other things, like, early prosperity is kind of nice. An early discovery is awesome of getting the anomaly research speed early. Uh, I do want diplomacy because we are going to be so weak that it is very, very important to us that uh, we learn how to befriend people so that they don't become a threat early. I think he's saying that clearing the blockers will negate the upkeep for the districts uh, for one of each type of district. Gotcha. So it's early priority to clean that up. I do this and decrepit tunnels. Oh, on clearing, I get a different kind of resource for each one. That's interesting. Never been fully explored or cleared. Yeah. <laughs> okay. 
I'm, I'm going to clear one early. I don't really feel like there's a reason not to. So I'm going to put that on the list. We've got the money for We are making half the money now. But we are getting a lot more unity. Much more unity because of our strong trade value. Unity is actually probably going to be one of our strongest suits here. 